Hello, happy Sunday, happy new week. Happy new week, everybody. Welcome you to another edition of um, uh, Spirit Led Ministrations. Um, let me just sing a few worship songs before I start. Um, my video is going to be very short today, probably 20 minutes. Just want to quickly talk about this issue of letting go of unneeded baggage. Yahweh, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, you are worthy of my praise. Call you Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You are worthy of my praise. Oh, and you are worthy of my praise. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are worthy of my praise. Oh, 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 you are worthy of my praise. We bow down and we worship. Yahweh. Jesus, let me say, let, let, let us pray for one minute. Let's pray quickly for one minute. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, I worship you, Lord God. I honor you. Worship you, Lord God, and honor you, King of Kings. I am that I am, Immortal God, Omnipotent God, Lord of miracles, Lord of signs and wonders. I bow before you, Lord. Bow before you, Lord. Glorify your name, Lord Almighty. Your presence, for your mercy, for your grace, for your love. For thank you, Lord Jesus, for this worship and prayer ministry, spirit administration. So, Lord God Almighty, I have dedicated it to speaking your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I bless all those that will view this video in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I uh, just want to quickly, I'm going to do this. I just want to quickly talk about, you know, us many times we tend to drag things. We tend to drag people uh, that we don't even need in our lives. If I'm talking about things, look in your closet. Look in, 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 in just, just look around your house. So many trash that you don't need. Uh, or, or clothes, shoes. Some people are addicted to shopping. And we just go about, oh, it's on sale, it's on clearance. Listen, it's a strategy. It is a drawback. It is a heavy load. You will keep running, running to the store to go buy. It's on clearance. Let me tell you, we just moved a couple more, uh, uh, last month to a new home. Uh, new, new, excuse me, in December to a new home. The things that I had to go donate, so many things, some of them, I had tags on them, and I had no idea when I bought them. And I have told myself I have so many things, so many clothes, new ones and shoes that I didn't even know I had. That I said, I don't even think I'm going to buy anything new in the next two years. So when we look around us, so many things that we don't need. There are people who need them, donate them, take them, donate them. Those that are too used to want to throw them away. Unclog, unclog your environment unclog your surroundings so that you can breathe so that is the physical part 
But I'm here mostly to talk about unneeded baggage when it comes to uh, uh, people around us. People who are a constant drawback, who are a constant setback. They, they are in our lives. They don't add anything good to us. All they want to bring is constant negativity. Look at look at look around you, your circle of friends. Um, they, I'm I'm not here trying to bring division. I'm here trying to tell us that some people that we have in our lives, we don't need them. Go look at the book of Jonah. I read it earlier, and God gave me a very deep understanding. The book of Jonah, chapter one. Um. Uh, you know, I read from chapter 1, verse 1 to 15. But you can read, Jonah is just, it's not many chapters. I think it's just four chapters. So you can go down. That the prophet Jonah is a prophet that God wanted to send a message. Wanted to send him a message to a Nineveh to go and deliver uh, uh, God's message. But because he did not want to go there, he wanted to run away from God. But that is not the main point here. The main point I want to make is, in him trying to run away from God, he got into a boat. But as soon as he got into that boat, the sailors in the boat, people that were in the boat, the owners of the boat, the sailors, who were having a peaceful shipping, uh, uh, a fishing experience, or whatever, traveling experience. Guess what? God began to send a huge turbulence. There became a huge turbulence. I don't know, huge rain, uh, thunder and lightning, whatever it was. To the sea, and the boat began to go up and down. They thought, okay, where well, the weather is bad, the sailors. Meanwhile, Jonah was lying sleeping quietly in the cargo hold. I'm talking about the book of Jonah, chapter 1, verse 1 to 15. Jonah, the one who God was angry with because of his disobedience, he was sleeping quietly in the cargo hold. Meanwhile, the sailors, they are worried. They are scared. They're running helter-skelter. Their ship is about to capsize. Guess what they did? They even took their goods. The goods, who knows what the goods were. Maybe they had traveled to some other country, other region to go buy some things. Or maybe the goods may mean that the, the fish that they were, they, they were in the sea or they catching. But because Jonah was in that boat, and the boat was under a heavy uh, turbulence, then they were about to lose, uh, they thought, okay, let us throw away all our goods. So they took all the goods and they dumped them. Losing so many things, losing so many, uh, maybe who knows, money, uh, whatever it was, they lost all of that. Meanwhile, I want you to get the point. Meanwhile, Jonah, the reason why the sailors were experience, experiencing such turbulence was sleeping quietly in the cargo hold, unconcerned, was not afraid because he knew what he had done. God was angry with him for his disobedience. Later, after they have done everything, the sailors, they now said, okay, let us cast lots. Uh, lots, maybe those from Africa, let us play oracle. Let us consult the gods and see which god we have offended that is now cursing. They understood, okay, they have tried everything. There's no, 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 no easement. Okay, they began to understand that, all right, something is wrong spiritually here. And by the time they now cast lots, they found out that it was Jonah. It, the, the turbulence was happening because there was somebody in that boat who, because of their actions, God was God had brought punishment to that boat, and they lost so many things. In the end, where well, I'm trying to get to here, by the time they now decided, they made up their mind after trying to save Jonah. I think they were trying to help him. They decided eventually to take Jonah. And toss him back into the sea. And verse 15. As soon as they took Jonah and threw him back into the sea. The storm ceased. 
Everywhere became calm. Everywhere became quiet. Where am I going here? There are some people just like those sailors had Jonah in their boat. There are some people that you have in your life. What is, let me, that your boat, your own personal boat, your own life, your own home. Sometimes, haven't you had experience where somebody bring a friend to a job? You bring, you have worked in that job for so many years. It happened to me before. You worked in that job for so many years. And then you bring a friend into that job. Before you know it, that friend who is, a, is, is no longer a friend. That friend is not gossiping you. That friend is not bringing all the things they know about you to tell everybody at work. Before you know it, your reputation at that job is ruined. You and your friend are now fighting. And if you're not careful, you're going to get fired. You're going to get fired from a job that you love so much. We must ask God for the spirit of discernment when it comes to allowing people into our lives. We have to be careful. Even on our Facebook, there are so many people that you have there. You have 5,000 friends. 5,000 friends. You post the most beautiful picture. You post the most, the best video. Nobody, you may nobody comment, nobody like. What are you doing with them? Begin to remove them. Remove them. So you can make room for those friends who you know are deaf with you. What about our personal lives? You sometimes you have some friends. Anytime you are around them, all you see is a is a, 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 a put down, let down. They trash talk you behind you. As soon as you leave, they discussing you, they gossiping you. And you hear about all this, but you are still hanging on to them. You're still hanging on to them. Why? Do away with them so you can have some peace of mind. Just like those sailors, by the time they understood that until they take Jonah and throw him back into that sea, there will be no calm in the weather. So as soon as they took Jonah and threw him into the sea, guess what? The storm stopped. Everywhere became peaceful and they continued with their sail. They probably would have lost their lives. They took Jonah and threw him back into the sea and he was swallowed by the mighty fish and he spent three days in the belly of the fish where he, uh, who knows he would have died, but then while inside the belly of the fish, Jonah realized that he needs to start talking to God here. But I'm only talking about Jonah chapter 1 verse 1 to 15. So there are so many things that we do that bring all kinds of storm into our lives. What about our own behavior? What are we doing? Are we the one who constantly bring the storm into our lives by our own behavior? Are we always talk, 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 blah, 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 about everybody else? We never see anything good about anybody. Everybody else is bad, but we are the good ones. What about, are you a student? Are you a student? You refuse to study. All you do is want to party, then a week to exam, you rush into cram everything to your brain. You can't. And then you do the exam, the result comes, you fail. And you begin to blame, oh, my uncle, my village people, they don't want me to study and pass. No, no, no. You should have been studying from the beginning of the semester. So I'm here to tell all of us, including me, those things that we are doing that is bringing all kind of storm into our lives. We need to, if we don't know, sometimes we may not know what we are doing wrong. That is when we need to talk to God to give us that spirit of discernment, to speak to God, to give us that wisdom so that we begin to reason. Do you know that many times that, that little voice that speaks calm, and don't get me wrong, Satan can also come and talk to us and tell us things or show us things in our dreams, whatever it is. But you will know once, once, once God gives you that spirit of discernment, you, you will begin to understand. All right, there's that little voice that will tell you. Nobody needs to tell you to take a shower. If you don't take a shower for a week, what's going to happen? You're going to be dried up. You're going to be all itchy and scaly. So, but that is just basic. I'm talking about like major things, major behaviors. In time, we'll be, the time we should spend uh, uh, praying or, 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 or studying or, or just, just having a calm, peaceful evening at home. 
we are we, we want some people they want to you want you want to go in the bar you, you okay for example another good example you probably had a problem with a, a drinking or clubbing you always every weekend uh, your friends will drag you as soon as you you, you get your pay there is spirit of devourer there are some friends who are devourers they have that spirit of devourer in them the enemy say who is the enemy satan he wants to use that friend to devour you financially and put you in debt every week you get paid or every month depend on where you work or every two weeks that is when your friends gonna call you hey, man, 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 man. there is this musician coming in town at club one blah 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 to enter ticket is one hundred dollars then by the time you get there you buy your ticket you bind uh, you get drunk you waste all your money and you broke your bills are suffering your house rent is suffering your, your 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 light bill is suffering your phone bill is suffering your children are suffering your wife husband is suffering because you you want to hook, hook up you want to hang 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 on to those friends who always want to bring who have that spirit of devourer you hang on to them you wasting your money every week do away with those people ask god to begin to help you to teach you how to say no how to say no period when god begin to talk to you begin to speak to you try to try to is that my car baby okay i don't know whose car that is sorry for all that noise there was a car beeping out there it wasn't mine so i'm still here to talk about um uh, uh, uh letting go of unneeded baggage and um and this came to me as i was reading the book of jonah from Jonah chapter 1 to verse 1 to, to 18, I think verse 1 ends in, in, I mean chapter 1 ends in verse 18. But Jonah is very short, has, I think he has like four chapters, about four chapters. Go ahead and read it so you can have a, 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 a better understanding of, of, of uh, the, the story of uh, Jonah. You understand? But I'm applying that of uh, Jonah being in that ship with those sailors. And because he was in the in that ship with those sailors, his sin caught up with him. And guess what? There is guilt by association. Just because you are hanging around certain people, you will see your life begin to go down. You will have no more peace. All you have is chaos. You begin to quarrel everybody. You that used to be very peaceful because you have this friend who all they want to do is fight with everybody. If you're not careful, you'll be drawn into that life, that atmosphere of constant quarreling, of constant negative. Be, but be careful. They're very wise. They know how to get out of it. But you who just jump in, you're going to be the one to be in trouble. You'll be alienated by everybody. Maybe you used to be a very quiet person who minds your business as soon as you, you, you hooked up with this friend or not just friend, even in relationship, relationship. You never used to drink before. You never used to smoke before. Then you started dating this guy. You started dating this girl and you know that this person is, is, is hooked on uh, doing all those things. Then before you know it, you 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 you're smoking with them, you're drinking with them, you're wasting your money clubbing with them. Who knows? Maybe you have you never you you have a friend who likes to go pick prostitutes. You never did that before. You maybe you have a nice uh, wife, a nice husband, or you are in a very nice relationship where you you both of you love each other. But guess what? You bring this womanizer into your life. For the men, for the woman, you bring this, 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 this woman or this girl who is never satisfied with, with one man into your life. Never see anything good in their own man. So that's who you're going to be reporting your own husband to, reporting your own a boyfriend, fiancé to. It's going to say, dump him. I have this new guy that just came from there. He's rich. Before you know it, you go hook up. Him, the person do do whatever maybe he spend for you he leave oh that one not work out don't worry i have another guy that is coming very soon let's go before you know it you are drawn into a life of hookup and that's that never ends well for most people doesn't end well a lot of time so i'm here to tell us 
Take a look at your life. We need to, including me, when I use the word, I'm, I'm talking about us, all of us. That's why I like to use the word us, we, us, we. Take a look at, at your life. We need to take a look and begin to try to, when things are suddenly begin to go down in this negative direction, sometimes it's good to sit back and pull back and begin to try and figure out, all right, when did this start? Who came into my life? Or what did I start doing? You know you have a job. You have to start work at 7 a.m. And you know from your house to that job, it's going to take about 30 minutes to get to work. But now you're going to leave home at 6.45. You'll be going to work every day 7.15, being late. And your employer keeps giving you warnings. The next day, they're going to fire you. But that is your own fault. You're the one who, 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 who decided to be lazy. You're the one who decided to be tardy. You're the one who decided to be leaving home 15 minutes late every day, knowing how long it would take you to get to work. There are so many things that we on our own, we do that brings issues to us. But there are also many more things that, that begin to happen to us because we allow the wrong set of people to come into our lives. Read the book of Jonah and meditate on it. You, you will understand what I'm trying to say. Because Jonah got into the ship with those sailors. And those sailors who were having a nice quiet ride. Guess what? Because God was angry with Jonah, he began to send serious storm into the sea. And in the end, those sailors, they lost their goods. They threw away their goods, trying to lighten the load in the boat. But it did not work. I pray may the Lord Almighty bless these words into our hearts. Subscribe to this channel, Spirit Led Ministrations, Worship and Prayer. Subscribe my next uh, my next uh, worship and prayer program is coming up on March on March um, 21st. Time is 4 a uh, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. My programs are four hours long by the grace of God. I give I give God praise. I give God the honor uh, for allowing me to do this because there's nothing we can do on our own. Whatever we have, whatever we're doing, it is by the grace of God. May the peace of the Lord rest and abide with you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover us and our families with the blood of Jesus. I cover this channel, Spirit Ministrations, with the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. My name is Princess. Subscribe. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time.